life uh, in China for Chinese Christians now uh, perhaps is uh, uh, the worst uh, since the end of uh, Cultural Revolution in 1970s. Under the current leadership of the Chinese Communist Party, President Xi Jinping, the persecution against the Christians and other religious minorities really uh, increased um, and worsened um, every day. And also uh, under President Xi Jinping, in the name of so-called sinicization, uh, the, for the first time since the end of Cultural Revolution, uh, millions of Chinese government uh, sanctioned uh, Christians and hundreds of thousands of churches were targeted and even being shut down and um, thousands of uh, crosses um, on the government uh, church's building uh, were forcefully demolished and um, of course uh, many Christians were arrested and even tortured um, the, uh, some receive uh, very serious, uh, long, harsh sentences um, for simply being a Christian uh, preacher and animal church leaders. Yeah, you can pray uh, for these three things um, uh, in China. Uh, the first one is to pray for those who are persecuted, especially those prisoners of conscience, uh, those brothers and sisters who are imprisoned, um, and uh, arrested uh, in prison so that they know they're not uh, fighting alone, uh, they're not isolated, and there are brothers and sisters who do care about them. The second thing is to pray for their family members, and oftentimes their wives and children have suffered a lot if uh, these pastor are in imprisonment. Uh, children could be expelled from their school. So the third thing is uh, to pray for the persecutors and pray for President Xi Jinping, for Premier Li Keqiang, and many Chinese security officers so that their hearts can be softened by the gospel of Jesus Christ, so that by the work of the Holy Spirit they could have a moment like Saul to Paul.